assembly. Place the bearing onto the work surface of a press and slide the shaft into the bearing until it stops. Screw the nut ring of the bearing to the shaft using a nut runner. Place a drop of self-locking liquid onto the seat of the bearing, then insert the shaft bearing assembly until it stops moving. Insert the bearing cover. Fit the screws and lock in place. Turn the housing bearing assembly over. Place the shroud adapter in position onto it and insert the locking screws. Fit the thrower on the shaft. Insert the rotary part of the mechanical seal into the pump casing seat and fit the pump casing to the casing cover, inserting the shaft into it with care. Replace the pump lock lock in the shaft. Slide onto the impeller and lock it with a nut. Using a depth gauge, verify that the distance between the plane of the impeller and that of the pump casing tallies with the value shown in the table and instructions manual. Any correction can be made by adding or removing the shims between shaft and impeller. Proceed dismounting again nut, impeller and shims. Insert the rotary ring of the mechanical seal using a bush until it comes into contact with the stationary ring. Replace the impeller. Insert the O-ring seal into the seat of the nut and screw the nut onto the shaft. Fit the O-ring onto the pump casing, fit the front foot and screw the adjustable feet onto it. Slide the clamp onto the casing pump and position the cover centrally onto the body using the reference pin. Tighten the clamp with knob. Place the motor in a vertical position and fit the adjustable feet to it. Grease the motor shaft projection and slide the pump block onto it. Tighten the fixing screws between the motor and the pump. Align the outlet port of the pump with the feet adjusters.